I never really understood how hard you had to work until I watched you do it. And before I ever saw, before I was ever part of it, I saw you do it before I knew anything. And then being in it and seeing you continually do it day in, day out, uh, serves as a daily motivational thing for me to show what it takes. You're, you know, anytime I feel like shutting the computer, I'm like, I bet you she's still working. Kiss. I bet you she's still working. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is it PG? Uh, PG-13. PG-13? No. PG-13. What, what's our rating? Kiss. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Perks and Paving. Paige and I are joined today by T Strat over in the booth, hitting up the ones and twos. What's what going up, on, buddy? What up, fam? Welcome yeah. to the studio. Yeah, it's good to be back. You haven't been with us for a while, right? It has been a long time. I think it's like this time last year. Wow. What? Uh, yeah, it was like Christmas time, I think, was the la- one of the last conversations I've yeah, had with you Yeah, we all had the Christmas sweaters on, I think. But you haven't been behind the booth with us no. since then? No. No. Held you back from us. They, they held me back. Mm. I'm back, baby. You're back. Good yeah. stuff. So we had a, still another busy month since the last time we were here. Mm-hmm. We've been to. It's never not busy. I get. I, I mean, I, <laughs> I feel, feel like, like that's just normal <laughs> life now. At this yeah. point, it just always. Oh, this always week busy. it's kind of started to cool off like a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> this was really low. Was it okay, Tyler? Oh yeah, you, you <laughs> okay. sound great. Um, yeah. It uh, was slow for like 24 hours, and then it picked right on back up. So, yeah. but, the, <laughs> but since the last time we recorded, you've been to two trade shows. Oh, we're we're starting there. Yeah. You don't want to start core value. No. Oh. Okay. And then weave it in later towards the end. Okay. We're. <laughs> <laughs> you run it. Go ahead. Yeah. You well, you've been to two trade shows. Yeah. You went to Sea Point in San Antonio, mm-hmm. and that's kind of your industry in the companies hotels that's not <laughs> so um i will give you a little background so c build point is for convenience stores oh my bad yeah hotel point hotel, hotel yeah so um the point shows are really really great um we've gone to a hand mm, i think three if i am correct but um very different setup from traditional trade show we you you just went to your first trade yep. show, so obviously, typically, we have a booth, um, you know, different size booths. Uh, the one that he just got to go to was a larger scale booth. I don't know how, do you remember how big it was? I know, I feel like they threw it out there a couple times, like, oh, uh, I don't know, the- but it was really, really nice. Yeah. We had couches, TVs, yeah, definitely. little pavilion, kind of. We, we uh, went all out, but the point shows are very different, so the setup is a boardroom where... Um, so me and Micah said he went to see Build Point. So it's um, the executives from convenience stores. So uh, they, there's about 12 of them that sit in a boardroom with us. They get to hear our spiel. It's like 20 minutes. We present. We have the slideshow. We did a little icebreaker. We did um, facility feud, you know, family feud, but facility <laughs> version. Uh, we gave out some cool prizes and, um, you know, kind of got everyone warmed up. But Obviously, the whole point is to show our app, um, you know, get people a little intro to what that could uh, provide to them value wise, you know, as a facilities manager Mm -hmm. for C stores. Um, You know, a lot of these people have stores all across the country. So, like, what can we do to simplify that for them? And with our app, we're able to paint that picture. You know, we have a little... um, We had like a fake account, not fake, um, like a duplicate of one of our actual clients accounts in property technologies where we were able to bring them through like what it would look like on their end if, um, you know, they were to work with us and have us utilize that service for them. So that's the first part of the trade show. And then from there, the people in our boardroom can either sign up for a one-on-one appointment with us if they feel as though they want additional information, Mm -hmm. maybe they want to talk specific opportunities, um, you know, just more in detail type stuff, or it's for people who um, maybe say they weren't matched with us because it's all based off of matching. So we put our top 10 in, they put our top 10 in, and then they kind of mesh them to see who is going to be the best fit for each other to meet because it doesn't make sense if you are put in my boardroom but don't have any parking lots that you're responsible for. So, like, that's a waste of everybody's time. Um, So that's what they try to avoid at those shows, like, really – putting people in the position to where like our services are going to be beneficial for them or somebody else on their team. So um, the people who don't get put into our boardroom have the opportunity for one-on-ones 
and from there, you know, get once again to go through the whole spiel, um, give you know the information to them, talk through specific projects. So, uh, I love it. I think that is a great setting. I mean, talking to people, just kind of walking past the booth is is great too. But yeah. uh, just were, a different change of pace. I know, obviously, that wasn't your first trade show, but when you did go to your first trade show, were you nervous at all? Did you have nerves or anything like that? Yeah, um, first trade show. So what should be my first? So I went to, yeah, okay, yeah. So I went. Good question. I went to Connex and uh, I went with. So um, Bob was still with us mm -hmm. at the time, and Bob was just like he he ran the place, you know. And um, I remember him and Eli saying, you know, for those shows, there's like speed dating. Right. Yeah. So it's maybe an hour, and all the executives are set up all around this large room. And you literally just like stand in line and wait to talk to, you know, your, we would go through a list ahead of time. These are the top 10 people we want to target in that hour. Um, so you stand in line and there's like, if I remember correctly, like a, a bell that goes off. So, you know, you have your minute to pitch your, your um, company from there on to the next one. Next person in line gets to walk up, you exchange business cards, you know, do what you got to do within that minute and you move on. But you might be like 10 people deep for a particular client if it's like a, you know, mm -hmm. they're a hot commodity. Right. Um, so I remember when they just were like, yep, you're going to the speed dating. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. So um, I was definitely a little bit nervous, but uh, I think, you know, you just get in there. You don't really have any other option but to, to do it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's been my, the, the easiest way for me to learn Just in this industry. In yeah. So yeah. same thing kind of with um, when we went to Hotel Point in April, presenting to a boardroom. I, <laughs> I had never did. I didn't know what it was going to be like, what it, um, you know, was going to. Am I in a room with 50 people, 10 people? You know, are they asking questions? Is it laid back? Is it? I mean, I had no idea what to expect. And I was thinking, you know, that I was going to kind of just be in the background, it was like a learning experience for me. And then from there, maybe next time I would get the opportunity to present. But then it was like, hey, I'm going to do the first one. You do the second one. And I am i never want to like pass up on an opportunity. I think I, I just try to take them all up and, mm -hmm. you know, figure it out as I go type of thing. Um, and I did. And it was a learning experience. And I think the more you're put into situations like that, I mean... I learned what I needed to do for the next yeah. one, for sure. Yeah. And at Sea Build Point, I I felt much more confident. So to answer your question, yes, yeah. I think different situations present different uh, stressors. But yeah. I wasn't I wasn't nervous at all for the Vegas one, partly because I had zero clue what to expect at all. Yeah. But like once people started coming up to the booth and talking and um, explaining what they were looking for in a national provider, I was like, okay, like... Yeah, this is what we do. This is like, what I do. Yeah. Like, it's very easy to sell this company and the yeah. idea of it. But um, I think one of the most interesting points I kept on bringing up was their experiences with other national companies that haven't gone so well. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, how are you different? Like, mm -hmm. you're a national company, and mm -hmm. how do you control or know, you know, what's going on? And, and what did you tell them? I told them that <laughs> we are part of the, we have a top contractor network yep. and we have what, I think between three, 5,000 contractors, something yep. like that. Um, do we use every one of them? Absolutely not. If we have yep. a bad experience, of course not. We do an internal rating system and kind of went into the details of behind the scenes of, um, you know, the ones that we use are reliable, the ones that we've built relationships with. And it's more than just a business relationship with this community. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, it's part of our family, yeah. our work family. And there are times I talk to these people on days, they don't have jobs with me, but I haven't talked to Casey Williams in two weeks and I reach mm -hmm. out to him today, just say, hey, what's going on? Hey, and Hey, what's up? What's mm -hmm. up? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have a, a very good relationship with the people that we work with. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a huge selling point. And I, for me, at least from the reaction, in those inter in those conversations was okay like that's interesting so yeah. i showed our app i showed you know how all these contractors are communicating with one another from across the country and yeah. it's uh i don't know it was a very it's, easy sell in my mind it's i mean i don't really know i guess the extent of what other national providers for um parking lot maintenance have i mean i not that i don't follow people on linkedin and stuff of that nature but i'm more so focused on what can we do and how are we going to make your lives easier? Right. So um, maybe 
people have like their things that are, uh, you know, going to set them apart. But I, I feel like when someone meets with us, it's a no brainer. I mean, there's no question that with this app, it is going to simplify your life, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, I just had a call with someone this morning and he was like, wow, this is exactly what I need. Yeah. I mean, it's, it took a lot of time and effort for us to build, you know, shout out to all the people, um, you know, in the IT department uh, that focus on that and are constantly updating to accommodate our needs. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, there are definitely things that as we go, we learn, um, you know, this is going to make this better. And I think us utilizing it and finding the pain points, like what are our customers' pain points? Um, how is this app that we have the ability to change it? Like we can contact someone and, you know, yes, I, I think us from the outside, we're like, yeah, that's probably easy to change, you know? And right. um, sometimes maybe we put a little too yeah. much pressure. Um, but, uh, you know, I, Kent is always like, you know, yes, great idea. Might take, uh, you know, a couple weeks or something, yeah. but yes, this is possible. So, um, you know, when we find something that isn't working, we're able to make yeah. adjustments in the... I mean, app. with a lot of these facility managers or regional managers that have hundreds of properties, mm -hmm. it's an easy sell. It's, I'm giving you a tool that's mm -hmm. going to give you access to every single one of these properties, pictures of GPS pinpoint areas of your trouble mm -hmm. areas on these properties, mm -hmm. and, you know, f from watching you practice your presentation and me practicing, mm -hmm. like, the ultimate goal is to save time and money for everyone. Yep. So the less time you have to stress about your budgeting because, oh, I don't know which one to tackle, where should we go versus let, let's handle that for you. Mm -hmm. let's, let's show you where you should spend your money and why so you can spend more time and budget more appropriately and get home faster. So yep. Spend more time doing the things that you like to do rather than <laughs> focusing on your parking lot. <laughs> right? Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, but it's been fun. They did a really nice job with the video that they put together um, with Eli speaking mm -hmm. at the show, too. Yes. Um, I feel like... <laughs> I got a. Did you watch the video? Yeah, that's all I was gonna say. Literally every single. I have a firm fan, handshake though. Yeah, aggressive. Is it too aggressive? I mean, a whole. You know, you really got to get in there. <laughs> did you see that, Tyler? <laughs> oh yeah, it's good. It's a yeah. good handshake. Yeah, Is you've it, got a confident has handshake. Has it been yeah. like a topic that's been brought up? No. Because I feel like you were laughing. Like maybe it's been. No. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Literally. Every single video that was of me was me handshaking someone. Yeah, that's good, though. Yeah, it's, but it was fun. It, it means you're meeting people. That's all it is. Yeah. Is you're doing your job. Looking right? people in the eye, shaking hands. Right? That's it. That's yeah. it. No, but it was fun. Uh, don't love Las Vegas. Just want to throw that out there. We So the, the show that Mark came to was at the Paris in Las Vegas. Um. I don't know. It might be hot take, but mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Tyler? Have you been to Las Vegas? I have not, and I don't have any plans to. What did you not like about it? Why did you not like it? I don't know. Just, ah. <laughs> too, is it, like, too busy? Is it, like, over... Is it very underwhelming? Expensive. Very Extremely. expensive. Very expensive. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I went to go get breakfast on the last day, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's going to be almost $30 for me to get a bagel and a coffee. Crazy. No way. That's real? I mean, no, I, so I swear, the cheapest thing on the, on the menu was a croissant, and it was $10. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm like, a croissant? And I don't even have any, like, meat, like, protein of any sort. Just, like, a croissant, a dry cro croissant. So oh. I was like, mm, I don't know. So that is definitely not... Great. I'm not a gambler. Hey. That surprise you? <laughs> I feel like you could make some good bets. Yeah. That's I feel like you're someone who bets on herself. And yeah, I, I can see you <laughs> being an absolute beast of a gambler. That's probably <laughs> your hidden risk. Your biggest hidden per Paige Perkins, biggest hidden risk. <laughs> Massive gambler. <laughs> But. Um, he is wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, no. So they, they were playing a little bit at the end of the night. And, um, I was like, what am I, gonna do? I, I was thinking about going to bed. I'm like, you know, 
Mm. Instead of wasting money on a table, there were shops everywhere. I'll go shopping. So I went into a couple of shops. I was trying on some sunglasses. I didn't buy anything, but that's, I mean, yeah. I would rather spend my money on something that I am going to be able to take home with me, yeah. use on a daily basis, clothes or something. I don't know. Me spending money that I'm going to throw away and probably not get back. Mm. But yeah, so that, um, I can't smell because of COVID. Still. But it'll be four years since the last time I could smell something <laughs> in February. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So why that relates to Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, so, That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But I know the last time we went there, I still could smell and everything just, smell. I mean, right. the, like. Not good. Bad. Yeah. Speed. Yeah. yeah not so uh, don't love that. So that and then um, I couldn't smell it this time since I can't smell. But you said it still. Yeah. Indeed smells like that. Yeah. So everyone's uh, lighting up around every corner. Yeah. And stuff so, like that. you know, that's not my favorite. Um, what else don't I like about Las Vegas? I guess I haven't gone to a show in Las Vegas, yeah. so maybe my opinion would change if I got to go to a show. Um, but you said you weren't like super. Uh, I mean, it's a, I'm at a different point in my life, you know, 10, 15 years ago, I'd been jumping off the walls knowing I was going to Las Vegas and, but yeah, I mean, the gambling, I enjoy gambling and every once in a while. And, you know, luckily we have that 20 minutes away from us down at the river. So yeah. it's kind of like lost its appeal of, yeah. of like, oh, I get to fly out and go. Well, I can just do it from my app, from my phone for yeah. a sports bed cool. or, you know. Great. Right at your fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, I, when I went to San Antonio, I, I had a way different experience in San Antonio. So that was my first time. Loved it. I'd go back. Have you been to San Antonio? Nope. Okay. Nope. I don't think I've ever been to Texas. No? At all. Okay. Yeah. So San Antonio was cool. Uh, the resort that uh, they put us at was very nice. So I know the Riverwalk's a big attraction in San Antonio. Uh, we weren't there. So I'd like to go back and experience that because I think there's like 120 restaurants and shops and stuff. It seems like a pretty big deal. Hmm. But um. I stayed at the JW Marriott. Um, so I was kind of bummed that morning that I had to get there. It, I think my flight left at 5 a.m. on Sunday. And I was like, man, maybe I can change my flight. Like, that's so early. It's a Sunday, you know. And um, I couldn't. It was just, I mean, it was going to be really expensive. So uh, I was like, it's fine. I'll go. Um, so I looked up to see if they had a pool. And they indeed did have a pool. So I was like, it's fine. I'll go and like sit by the pool, do whatever, enjoy my Sunday. Because we didn't have any um, events for the trade show on Sunday. So I came to find out there was a whole water park. <laughs> <laughs> so I get there and it's warm. So I was floating around in the lazy river. I was going down water slides. <laughs> Wait, Paige, is this all by yourself? <laughs> I would have done it by myself or with somebody, but I did find a group of people that oh, okay. were willing. But it was fun because, yeah, like, sure. you think as adults, like, you know, sometimes adults are, oh, no. Yeah, too cool. I don't, too, too cool. Too like, old. I think the fact that, I mean, there were there was a group of us, mm -hmm. and everyone was like, yes, let's do the water slides. And we all went and did them. A bunch of grown adults. We had a ball. Having a great time. We had a ball. Yeah. Um, so, hey, networking <laughs> on the water slides. Hey, you know? any, anywhere you can go to network. Anywhere you can do it, yes, you network. You but network. No, it was fun, though. Um, but they had one where you stood on this platform and it dropped. And, I mean. You, Are you in, a, a, in a tube? You were in a tube. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, in a tube. You had a platform underneath of you, and it counted down three, two, one, and then it just dropped you. Um, so there was that one, and then there was another one that was really fast, too, like 20 <laughs> miles per hour. Yeah. So it's funny you brought that up. Like, we literally had a discussion this morning at the operations meeting um, about Cedar Point and, like, yeah. roller coasters. And I'm like, man, yeah. I really want to go. I've never been. I'd love to go and just I, have a day. I think doing that type of stuff, I mean, I 
maybe we mo- need more experiences where we just like have fun. Yeah. Like as adults, I think sometimes we hold back from stuff like that. And I mean, everyone that I went down those water slides with, we'll be talking about that for years. <laughs> I mean, how many times? I mean, I'm telling you, I've talked about uh, yeah. it like 10 times. I had the time of my life. Like it was so fun. Um, but <laughs> like, hey, it was so great. I can't remember that's the last good. time I've been on a water slide. So, um, hmm. but yeah, it, it was a good time. Um, and most importantly, the show went really well. We made some really great connections that are um, hopefully going to turn into some good new accounts for for us. So, um, yeah, it was a good show. Um, but yeah, we, we've been on the move uh, that couple weeks span. That was rough. It was rough. That was so rough. I had been in my, in our bed, <laughs> two nights in two weeks or something. It was, it was rough, but yeah, it, it was nice to be back in the office. That's yeah. for sure. It's always nice to get back into the routine and especially when you're flying across the country and you got a million active things going on that you can't respond to like in that moment. Yeah. When... But with that being said, I want to give a quick shout out to Laura because Laura held it down while we were, go- well, I don't know. Does she, does she help you with your stuff? Or just, uh, uh, no, no, okay. Um, but uh, when I was in San Antonio, we had. Oh, speaking of her, <laughs> she's giving me a call. <laughs> um, Takes the call. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll call her back in a couple. Um, but um, so we had some changes in the team uh, while I was in San Antonio. Um, Mark gave Laura a one-week crash course of scheduling. And she really like hit the ground running and has been doing a stellar job. Um, so, you know, my team of three, well, including myself, is now two. Um, just Laura and I, and um, I feel like we're we're rocking, we're rolling, we're you know just we're in a pattern where you know things are just in and out, in, in and, and out, out, in and out. Um, so she's really stepped up to make sure that things are happening because um, obviously with that. Me being in San Antonio, like I said, I came back and then we left for Las Vegas on Monday. So I really needed someone to jump in to make sure that things were not being missed as far as scheduling goes. And um, I couldn't be more pleased or proud of her for how uh, wonderful she's been doing. So um, big Big shout shout out out to Laura. Thank you. Um, That's a, a great segue to our next core value. If you don't mind that little transition, um, I I did that. Uh Huh? What's that? (laughs) (laughs) Did you know I was going to talk about that? No. Oh, okay. I I thought we were, but like after we were going to talk about the value itself. But um, so the last couple of months on the show, we've been running through the core values of the company. And this episode, we're highlighting selflessness Mm -hmm. as our core value. So Paige already talked about Laura and, um, and how she just kind of literally threw her face in the fire to help us out and get the team back on track and rolling, which has been amazing. But I wanted to throw it over to T-Strat. And on the one team media side and kind of your thoughts on selflessness and how you see it like in the day to day with your team over on the other side of the building. That's a good question, man. Um, I think showing up with a positive mental attitude is uh, encouraging enough to know that you're selfless because everybody, uh, both sides have so much going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I can still walk into anyone's office on either side with uh, a smile on their face, even in the midst of complete chaos mm-hmm. and just burnout. And I know it's the most busiest time of the year as we're slowly transitioning into you guys' slow season, slow season. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think just the fact that people are very intentional on both sides of the company where uh, they think about you more than they think about me. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't really, I'm, I'm worried about how am I coming across. Mm-hmm. Um, compared to how are they coming across. Mm-hmm. And if I notice or anyone notices that they're some, you know, a teammate is kind of down, what do you do as a, a teammate? You, you see what's going on, you pick them back up, you know? Uh, it, it's, it's, I see why it's a core value um, in this company because it is one of the most important uh, parts, and that's why we're called, you know, under the collective of one team. Right. What does it mean to be a team? It means to put others first. Yeah. yeah. And I think that the payment group, does an excellent job at putting the client first, putting contractors first, um, and making sure that they take care of, you know, everyone else. Because if we can show up and continue to take care of other people, 
it, it, we, we, are, we are received tenfold. And yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a really cool thing to see. For yeah. sure. I think one of the biggest things I see on a literally everyday basis is um, every morning the operations team huddles up at the big concrete table uh, in the middle of the building and which we review numbers and stuff like that. But, you know, every day the same person isn't going to be scheduling the most jobs every single day, but there's recognition and like an acknowledgement of team success. Mm -hmm. Like David today or David yesterday scheduled, you know, 15 jobs for $800,000 and like everyone at the table is happy and no one's like, oh my God, I have to, it's a team success. Yeah. Some days this guy or this woman's going to perform, other days, you know, they may not. Or some weeks are slow and other weeks and, are and, outrageously busy. And when that happens, I think the beauty of what we do is, you know, okay, you're slow. You you mentioned a couple weeks back, like, you were slow and I saw you, I mean, you went into David's office and you were like, hey, I don't know what's going yeah. on. It was a few months ago, but yeah. Okay, yeah. a few months ago. Time flies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, the... the yeah basis of this is, you know, you don't know a ton about his accounts and Correct. where they are at that given moment, um, nor would he jumping into your accounts, right. but you were, you know, that was great of you to go in and say, how, how can I help you? Um, I know Jenna is also phenomenal at just saying, um, I, I remember when we first started and we're just trying to learn the industry and figure it out. And, um, you know, she would get her stuff in and she'd be like, let me make some calls for me, for you. Like what tasks do you have for the day? Make me a list and I will help you. And um, I think all of us are very much so um, like we're just built that way. Like we want to help others. You know, is everyone going to have that extra time every single day? No, but like you see, I'm struggling. You ask me what you can do to help and vice versa. Like there's gonna be times where everyone's slow. Um, or, you know, really busy and just making sure that we are able to accommodate everyone and lend a ha helping hand because, um, you know, everyone's going to need it at a particular yeah. moment. So. I mean, even just with like some of the contractors, like there are certain people, certain contractors that I have an amazing relationship with. Mm -hmm. Others, not so much, not in terms of bad. It's just, I don't, I'm not familiar with them, but I know David calls this guy 14 times a day. Hey, David, do you think this guy would be able to help me out? Yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me make a call for you. Like, so. Yeah. And um, Dave is great about I mean I anything that I ever need like computer related or <laughs> I just like walk into Dave's office I'm like Dave <laughs> I need help and I obviously know that he is busy and even when he is busy he's still willing to lend me a hand with doing whatever I need um, so you know he despite his busy schedule he, he gets up and he walks in there and he sits down and tries to help me um, and you know, if I have questions on gravel or stuff, cause I mean, he, he's like the gravel expert. So, uh, if I have questions on pricing or who to use or, you know, whatever the situation may be, he always makes time to, um, you know, time to answer my questions and be thorough. And, um, you know, it's much appreciated cause you know, we all are living a busy life. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, it's just very much appreciated. Um, I know we were talking last night. I mean, Tony is another example of that within our company. I mean, the, the pushing push button in case of emergency, call Tony Grout. <laughs> call Tony Grout, yeah. speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, he, anytime, like last night, you had a question on cross slopes. I had a question on gas pipes. So, I mean, we were calling him at seven o'clock just to run a couple things by him. And uh, the fact that he is always available after hours when he doesn't have to, you know, allow that time yeah. for us. He could, you know, silence us and leave us for the next day. <laughs> um, but, you know, he he is always willing to, to help both of us. So and anyone on the team. So. Um, so, yeah, he he I'm sure that's the last thing he wants to deal with at 7 p.m. at night. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it just goes to show what kind of team we have and very proud to be a part of such a great team that's willing to lend a hand wherever and, you know, go the extra mile to help help make the team accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. So, yep. Um, I know we gave some shout outs to the team, but what about the spouses of the team? <laughs> what about the spouses? So, um, we were lucky enough this morning to get a coffee from Life Over Lattes, Nicole Stratton. Um, so I've been wanting to order for the last few weeks. 
months, <laughs> months. Um, it's I, once again, I feel like it all the time all just meshes together. But um, finally got to try my first coffee with her, and boy, it was yummy. So sh- sh- the day started today with her saying, "I have a surprise for you." And I said, <laughs> yeah. "Well, where is it?" And she's like, "It's at the office." I said, "Is it?" There no, right no, 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 no. That's not. You said, "Is it at the <laughs> oh, office?" At the I other. said, "It might be." I don't know, because I didn't know what time you were going to get here. So, and the beauty of it was Tyler delivered it for me. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was great to finally it was try. Good. Her. Yeah, it was very good. Um, very, I mean, the logo, the the presentation. Um, I mean, the fact that it was delivered. I mean, I have a photo of, you know, I showed up to, it was on my desk. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, ready <laughs> to go when I got here. So um, we're so proud of her. She also has the Life Over Lattes podcast. Yeah. We should get her on our podcast. Collaborate. Yeah, we haven't had a guest in a while. Yeah. What do you think, Tyler Stratton of Nicole Stratton? <laughs> <laughs> obviously, for most people who listen, it's probably people mm-hmm. at the company. But for those who are outside a company, obviously, uh, Tyler and Nicole are married. So, um, you know. Yeah. Tell us what what your thoughts are on life over lattes. Uh, I I think I answered. Yeah, I am. You know, and it's not to be cheesy, but I told you that this morning when I came in your office and just to check in to see if the coffees were good. You could give me your honest feedback, um, you know, and I am genuinely proud of her accomplishments and her desire and and watching someone chase a goal um, and stick to the goal and overcome a lot of and obstacles and, uh, you know, thoughts. And um, it's it's exciting because it motivates me to just like, oh, wow, she's she's crushing it this week. I've got to crush it this week. Yeah. You know, I shouldn't be, if she's waking up at five, I got to wake up at 4.30. So I at least have a little <laughs> bit of me time prior to her waking up and yeah. taking care of the business. So, um, you Are know. Are you guys competitive with each other? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. It's I wasn't healthy. Sure. It's yeah. healthy, though. Yeah, like, it's supportive. Are. But, you know, I always, the one thing that I'm really clear on is, like, I really do have to have me time in the morning. Okay. Like, and if I don't, like, I just feel like the world's just full of chaos. Um, and nothing against my wife. I just need a little bit of just time yeah. to, like. That's how he is after I, work. After so. work. Yeah. After work from between, I, I get here, I try to get here before 8. I usually leave here about a quarter to 5 to get home to walk the dog. But from... 5.15 till she usually gets home about 7.30, silence. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't – I mean, I'm paying attention to my work phone and stuff like that, but, I mean, in terms of social yeah. – like, yeah. unless that work phone rings, like, I'm not looking at anything. Yeah. It's just being outside. So what do you do during your your you time? Like, are you – It's a good question. Yeah. Um, so my ideal me time – uh, is to meditate for anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. I've been trying to do 30. Okay. Um, it's because it's challenging, like to sit still and not allow myself to like be distracted yeah. is something I go for. But I've been really strict for the past probably like three months. Um, and this is not boasting, but I've been studying the Bible and I'm, I'm through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and now finishing up John. Um, and just like trying to plan out my day after I read the Bible, because I want to start out with that foundation yeah. of strength. And then um, if I can think about my day here at One Team Media, that's like in, in my journal here that I have, I write out my day and figure out the meetings and the podcasts and the responsibilities the team has. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at that time, um, I have a cup of coffee and I literally just sit and reflect on the home that we have mm-hmm. together. Um, because I was just telling that to my brother, I said, uh, the the kid that the where we grew up at uh was you know it was in a trailer nothing against that but that's where we grew up and um to be able to be in our new home and like to call it ours is like very i don't want to disconnect from that ever um because it's such a great accomplishment and i'm super proud of us so like i try to connect with that and then i sprint upstairs and lay with her for the last like 10 minutes before i have to go get ready and that's like that's been my morning and that's the most ideal morning that i can have and if I have that, I feel like I can come in with a positive mental attitude here. Yeah. I feel like I can greet everyone with happiness. I feel like I can, you know, take care of things and overcome the things that business can throw at you on a daily basis. And, yeah. you know, but not every day is perfect. So yeah. it just depends on the day, you know. How about you guys? I want to go back to something you said earlier about the competitiveness <laughs> and like watching the drive. I saw you this, kind of. No, this no, isn't going where you think it's going to oh, go. Okay. But okay. Um, so before I joined the pavement group, their page was there uh, here, excuse me, about what eight or nine months before I decided. 
come over. So mm, no, we're not. I, yeah, because when we had the Christmas party, the, oh, that's or, wait, true. no, that was well, that was only a few months in. Right? Maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe you're right. Regardless, yeah, because, no, because um, my one year anniversary, you were here because when they came into my office. And oh, the, yeah, that's yeah. right. True. So you're right. You're right. So. You know, I would see, I was as a physical therapist, not knowing anything about the industry or the business or anything like that, she would come home, especially during the busy season. I mean, that computer would not be turned off until 10, 30, 11 o'clock at some nights. I'm like, man, like she is really grinding and like going for whatever. And then slowly as I started to work and get busier and then be put on her team and learn, I was like, this is literally what it takes to be successful. You can do this job eight to five, nine to five, you can do it, but to be truly great and to be successful takes a lot of time. A lot of time, a lot of personal time that you could be doing other things, but I never really understood how hard you had to work until I watched you do it. And before I ever saw, before I was ever part of it, I saw you do it before I knew anything. And then being in it and seeing you continually do it day in, day out, uh, serves as a daily motivational thing for me to show what it takes you're you know well it's the truth so anytime i feel like shutting the computer i'm like i bet you she's still working kiss. i bet you she's still working. Kiss. <laughs> i don't know is it pg pg-13 uh, PG PG what's our rating kiss. Yeah. No, that was nice of you no well, that was very very sweet thank you got it very. hey hey um but no i i love that we have that competitive nature with each other but um i think it's 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 not like a a competition that gets to a point where it brings us apart it brings us together so um i love that about us and um you know same right back at you i mean obviously there's different times of the month that maybe you're busier than others but then when like you're doing stuff and i'm not i'm like hmm Maybe, maybe I, I need to get my computer out and do a little bit more. So, um, you know, I, I think that's good and healthy that we have that relationship with each other. It seems like you and Nicole are very similar. So, but, um, it's always been like, I think great for us that we've always worked in, you know, similar industries. We were both yeah. PTs, but come home and talk about problems. Like we can relate mm-hmm. to work issues yep. because like, I understand yeah. what pavement is and, now. And, and going back to that, I think it was hard when we didn't work in the same industry because yeah. like you said you saw me grinding and you didn't know what Zero the clue. industry yeah. entailed and what my day-to-day looked like and um for those of you who have watched our podcast for the last year or so when mark first started or didn't work here yet he would often say well how hard could it be to schedule a job <laughs> you call you get a scheduled date yeah. Scheduled. Just get it scheduled. Just get it scheduled. That's what I was telling you got to do. So, um, unfor- I mean, yes, you call and you get a scheduled date, but there's a lot that goes into it after that, um, coordinating-wise. So, yeah. um, I think, you know, not not that you didn't, you know, see, obviously I wasn't sitting there just like, right. you know. On YouTube. On YouTube, just like, you know, doing stuff that I wasn't supposed to be doing, um, you know, wasting time type of thing. But I think now that, you can relate to what I'm doing, um, you know, creates more opportunity for us to understand, you know, yeah. what we're all, what we're going through on the day to day. But uh, one more person that I want to give a shout out to before we wrap it up for the month, Angel. Yeah. She, so Angel um, has been in school for two years now as a physical <coughs> therapist. For those um, who have been tuning in, you might be aware that. Um, the reason that I even came to found um, came to find the the pavement group was because Angel, um, you know, she was like, "Hey, Paige, like maybe you should check it out. You know, it's a great company. Eli loves working there. Um, you know, worst case scenario, you just get some experience and move on to what you want to do, type of thing." Um, and you know, she's the reason that I'm here. But kind of full circle, she ended up going to PT school. And she's been working towards that for the last couple of years. And she graduated. She graduated. Took her she boards. took her exam and she passed. passed. Woo. We are 
are so proud of her. Uh, we are go <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go, Angel. Uh, yeah, we are yeah. so proud. We know that's not an easy task. Yeah. Um, obviously, both having been there ourselves, uh, a lot of time, dedication, late nights, tears, um, traveling for her, obviously, all over the place yeah. since, you know, she was, um, you know, not on site for her school. So uh, a, a lot went into that and uh, very, very proud. Um, you know, we we pulled two out, but we're putting one back in. So, <laughs> so <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> you guys are such givers. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. But, um, yeah, so no, she, she, hey, I mean, it's all right. She's not wrong. You know, yeah, we're not wrong. So, um, so no, we're, we're really proud of her. We're going to celebrate with her tomorrow night. We're really excited. I don't know if you knew that. I did not know yep. that. New Surprise, flash. we're going to celebrate with Angel. All right, um, well, that's at fun. At Doe Daddy's. Oh, I love Doe Daddy's. Yeah. So, Sweet. Um, Shout out to Doe Daddy's off of 910. Yeah. They have, um, last thing, sorry. Um, <laughs> they... <laughs> You'll have to come with us sometime, or you, if you want to come tomorrow. You, do you guys have plans? Uh, that I don't think so. You should come. Okay, so listen to this. They have this. Have you guys ever used Just Pay Half? Nope. Okay, oh, so you're gonna ruin it for everyone now. That you're gonna broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Just how many people half. actually watch? <laughs> so it's exactly what it sounds like. It's you pay half. So I'm in. I, yeah. So it's uh, you buy for twenty five dollars on Just Pay Half, or no, you buy it for twelve fifty. And then, you know, you get $25 worth of food and drink. And you can use it on whatever. And you can buy as many as you would like to use towards your bill. So, yeah. So, that's, really, you're just paying half of what you would spend there. So That sounds like a brilliant idea. Yeah. I mean, Their pizza is really good. Pizza is really good. So oh. but Bakerstown yes. Hotel. Yeah, okay, Bakerstown Hotel was really good. So, but, yep, that's oh. it. That's what we're doing. If you guys would like to join ready to yeah oh okay sorry sorry <laughs> you just tell me sorry mark has, mark has a schedule got he's a like, meeting in sorry. about two minutes yeah here. he's like tapping me I, I was like am i supposed to say something else am i supposed to do am i yeah so okay cut. That, cut. 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 <laughs> that is it for this week thanks for tuning in um we have one more episode for the year it's crazy uh so we will be back uh beginning of december for our last our Christmas episode. Yeah. All right. We'll see you then. Uh, tune into One Team Media to check out all of our other podcasts. See you next time. Bye.